As Ron Lee tweaks Hawaii's offense, a greater emphasis has been put on the Warriors' ground game. So the healthy return of running backs Leon Wright Jackson and Daniel Libre certainly helps complete UH's travel roster this week. Wright Jackson's injury is also less serious than first diagnosed. He'll be, he'll be full speed ready to go. We're, again, we're just being smart and not trying to push him. He doesn't have turf toe. He's just got a little sprain in his upper foot, but he'll be fine. How about the running back situation? It looks like uh, you loaded up today. A lot of guys practicing. A lot of guys will be traveling. Can you give us a sense of what you're doing there? Yeah, Daniel Libre is back with us, and I'm really excited about that. He, he worked out for the trainers uh, at the beginning of practice, and they cleared him, and he's going full speed. He's got fresh legs. and, and and uh, he gives us some good speed and a good change up, and I'm excited about him being back with us. So what is the depth chart at running back right now, just about? Will Leon Wright Jackson start, followed by Libre? Uh, I, we'll go back to the start. You know, I, I don't, if somebody gets hurt, they don't lose their position. So Leon will be the starter, and Libre will be behind him. And, uh, you know, we can run Polaris, and Rago was getting after it last week. So but we have some other guys we can use. Do you like that you're deep at running back? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's uh, important to be deep because they take a lot of blows and it's like car collisions, you know, running into each other and, and uh, you know, I'm, we have, we weren't deep a couple days ago, but now we've got our depth back. UH leaves for Corvallis tomorrow and takes on Oregon State this Saturday at 10 in the morning Hawaii time. Beavers are 0-2 with losses to Stanford and Penn State. How good is that quarterback? Uh, he's he's a pretty athletic guy, you know. He's not the biggest. He's about 5'11", not the tallest guy, but he's gonna try to make plays on us. How's it going, everybody? Well, your football team hits the road tomorrow for Saturday morning showdown with Oregon State. Now, one of the players demanding attention from the Hawaii defense is Beavers quarterback Lyle Moivau. 5'11", 230 pounder, was an all-state defensive end in high school before being converted into a quarterback in junior college. Took over as a starting QB in Corvallis in the 10th game of the 2007 season. Through the first two games of 2008, Moivau is 59 of 95 for 654 yards, passing three touchdowns and four interceptions. He makes some good throws, and uh, and then again, he got some poor decisions he makes. But overall, he, he puts the team in great position. He does what they want to do uh, as far as getting the ball out to the playmakers and uh, letting the playmakers make plays. Oh, now that's a quarterback putting his chin in there. There you go. I like that. He's a Polynesian boy. You know, they play, they play tough, and they come downhill and try to hit somebody. So he's going to make some plays. No, their quarterback's a, a good player. But uh, their passing game is very sophisticated. Their running game, uh, they just try to, you know, they're a, a power running team and a zone running team. So uh, they, they do a good job. Uh, Mike Riley's been a great coach in, in his whole career. And uh, scheme-wise, they're very tough and they're a very physical team. Running game is led by freshman halfback Jacquez Rogers. He logged 99 yards and two scores in last weekend's loss to Penn State. Warriors enter the game 1-1. 12-point one one. favorite Beavers are 0-2. Kickoff set for Saturday at 10 in the morning. Hawaii. The UH Warrior football team kicks off with Oregon State this Saturday in Corvallis. It won't only be about the battle on the field. The Beavers have 16 players on their roster from the 50th state. A number Hawaii coach Greg McMackin in the interests of the always present recruiting battles is hoping to see decrease in the future. Well, we are Hawaii and uh, you know our players uh, need to represent the state of Hawaii and make sure that Hawaiian players don't go to other other schools you know. <laughs> That's what we're trying to get across is this is an important game for us. This is a uh, you know a game that's important to our program. Warriors come in at 1 and 1. Beavers are 0 and 2. Kickoff will be around 10 a.m. Hawaii time.